This is a mini lecture on the Crusades and the Crusading movement. In 1088, Pope Urban II decided that what the rise of Islam had done is taken what was rightfully Christian lands. And so he decided that as Pope, with the authority that he had, that he would rally support to take a group of people down into the Holy Lands and reconquer them uh, for the name of Christ. Now, as you remember from our discussions about the rise of Islam, uh, Islam had spread into all of Northern Africa, all of the Middle East, and making its way up into Europe. It was stopped, basically, at Constantinople. And so, Urban at the Council of Clermont um, made this call. He said, we need to go back, reclaim these lands uh, for Christianity. The phrase that he used was, God wills it. It is God's will that we go and reclaim these lands for Christ. Now, the problem with the Crusades is the um, Pope didn't have a military. And there weren't many emperor, or many uh, leaders, many lords, many kings who really wanted to get on board with this movement. And so the majority of the Crusaders were actually normal people. Um, when the Pope was preaching and when his uh, friends were preaching to say, we need to go, God wills this, um, the call was given, uh, or what the, uh, sorry, the reward was given to say that if you do this, your salvation is secured. Um, remember at the time, the um, pilgrimage and uh, going to see relics was really important to Christians. The closer you could get to something physical that was holy or a person that was holy or something that touched them that was holy, the closer you could get to God. And so when the Pope says that if you go and reclaim these lands for Christianity, your salvation is secured, well then of course we're going to want to go. Um, we're in a world of chaos, we're in a world of turmoil, this brings order, that gives us a purpose, and so a number of people went. And it was a, a big failure, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, there were a number of different crusading movements which took place. Some of them were organized, some of them weren't very organized. Um, and in the end, it was just a bad move on, on Christianity. It is, a, it is a piece of history that we need to apologize for and we need to move on. The challenge of today is that people living in the Middle East, many Muslims who uh, live in the Middle East, haven't forgotten about the Crusades. And so you may even hear that some people in the West uh, who are associated with Christianity are called Crusaders. And it's because uh, Muslims in, the, uh, in these lands see Christians as people coming to take their land. Now, what I often challenge my Muslim friends with is, well, actually, it wasn't your land before it was our land, or before it wasn't our land. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we're both at fault. Um, I had the opportunity to teach a class of Muslim students from Turkey, and we both agreed that we were both at fault in how we approached the issue of land. But it brings light into that world um, and the challenges that are continually being faced in the Middle East. Um, much of this has its roots in the Christian crusading movement. Um, and again, it's something that the church should lament uh, and apologize for, which we have done in many different ways. The Crusades.